those slaves said, I don't care what we go through. We're going to survive this. 400 years of slavery. We're going to get through this. And you can't get through it. 1825. You can't get through a writing class and you got tutor after tutor, resource after resource. The problem is you ain't never felt no pain before. You're soft. It's a soft generation. You quit on everything. Our people did not quit. Harriet Tubman not only made it, she went back and got some more. She said, you know what? I made it, but I'm, I'm going to walk all. Listen to me. Shh. Not ride the bus. I'm going to walk all the way back down to the south to get some more. And you quitting on 1825? Now watch this. You quit after you, listen to me, you get a sleeping bag and you wait for him. You wait for the first WRA instructor to come in and you come out your sleeping bag, I need help. You quit after you do that. You quit after you had, listen to me, a, a WRA party. I'm, I'm having a party, everybody come over. I got food, everything, and let them get over there. Let it be all the best writers. All right, I fooled y'all. I want to have a writing party. I'm serious. You quitting and you ain't even tried yet. Last one, I'm sorry, last one. Listen to me, pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year. But eventually, it will subside, and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. Listen to me, I'm telling you as I leave, I'm telling you as I leave, I was homeless for two and a half years. And the problem with most of you, you never felt no pain before, y'all spoiled. Y'all spoiled, some of y'all spoiled, just bottom line. Your parents have done everything for you. You never had to do nothing for yourself, you're spoiled. We're gonna keep it real tonight. Some of you are spoiled brats. Every time you ever got in trouble, somebody in your house got you out of it. Every time you've done something you're not supposed to do, people say, Eric, your mother's a tyrant. You're right. She kicked me out. You're right. She's mean, but she developed a man because she put me out there and said, you're going to have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. Somebody said, I don't go home, I feel bad. Go, go through it. You ain't going to die at the end of pain and success. You're not going to die because you're feeling a little pain. I'm not eating like I eat at home. That's why you're about to go to the next level, because if you keep eating like you ate at home, you will keep being a boy or a girl. It's time to become man, woman. So don't, don't worry about a little pain. My greatest asset is I was homeless. So I can't feel a whole lot of pain. I've already been alone. There's not a whole lot of, it's not, not a whole lot of hurt I can feel on a little paper, on a little test. So I leave you, I leave you, listen to me. We have gotten to a point where it's midterms and we're moving forward. The days of you getting money, I'm not saying we quitting, but I'm saying the day has got to go from external to internal. You have to give it everything you got. No more TV, no more parties, no more plan. If you have a 4.0, what you need to be doing is study. Get off the phone. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm not available until the end of this year. <laughs> no, I'm for real. You reached the right number, but you called me at the wrong time. Call me back January 1st. <laughs> I'm about to get busy now. Huh? I want you to have a countdown of your own and say when the countdown is over, with the real, shh, watch me, because when I was homeless, I knew something was wrong. I knew that wasn't the best of me. And one day I said, will the real Eric Thomas please stand up? Will the real Eric Thomas please stand up? Stop being this high school dropout. Stop giving up. Stop sleeping on the street. Stop walking up and down Finkel Avenue like you ain't got nothing and get your GED. Stop being afraid to take a test. Stop being afraid to go to college because your daddy didn't go and your mama didn't go. Stop being afraid and be the best Eric Thomas you can be. But listen to me, it's going to be hard. It took me 12 years to get a four-year degree, but I got it. And guess what? On a degree, it don't have dates. So if it took you four and it took me 12, it don't show up nowhere. But I'm exactly where I wanted to be because I realized I got to commit my very being to this thing. I got to I gotta breathe it, I got to eat it, I got to sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours.